Hello, welcome to video number three. It's on building data sheets that can easily scale. Oftentimes, I work on data that grow every month. Even if you use Excel lightly, you're always better off entering data in Excel in such a way that you can always accommodate more fields and new data without having to change the structure of your data sheets or table. Here are the tips for building a data sheet that can easily scale. Number one, only have one data sheet on a table. A data table is any table that you expect to grow over time. Having only one on a sheet lets you have access to all the rows and columns in that Excel sheet. For example, here is my employee bio data table. Now I have just one of this table in this Excel sheet. Let's look at another one. As you can see on this sheet, I have two different tables. I have my employee bio data table and I also have my sales report table. Definitely my employees will increase over time. And on this table, I'm going to have a tough time including my new employees. So this is an example of how not to do a table. It's better to have just one data table on a sheet. So I'll have this on a sheet and have this separately on another sheet. So let's go back. Number two, start your data table as close to cell A1 as possible. Cell A1 is this. Having your data table as close to cell A1 as possible gives you access to more rows and also more columns. But in this, starting my table too far away from the cell A1 makes these two columns unusable for me. Number three, avoid gaps in your data table. As you can see in this table, I have no gaps in my data table. But in this, I have a gap. Number four, arrange fields such that the most important or basic fields come first. For example, in a HR employee bio data table, names should come first before contact address. Here you can see the first name and the last name are before the contact address. But in this example, the contact address comes first before the name. Number five, have a field for every meaningful data. It is better to have separate fields for first name and last name than having one field hold both. As you can see here, I have a field for first name and a separate field for last name. But in this example, I have one field for both the first name and the last name. Number six, avoid merging cells in a data table. Better to repeat cell entries than merge them. In this data table, I have no merge cells. Even though this date is common to all these entries, I didn't merge them. I repeated the entries. But in these, I have merge cells. And as a bonus, avoid hiding rows and columns in a data sheet. You will save yourself a lot of future headaches. Hiding rows and columns can be a source of formula errors. And that is it for this video. The next video is on sorting, but don't forget to subscribe to our blog. Thank you.